Hello Internet and welcome back to Dark Diet here with another episode of Franbo. It's been a little while since I last recorded the episode, so I'm gonna have to try and remember what we're doing. From what I can remember, however, we need to try and find these things. The heart of a frog, the head of a young virgin, hair and blood from a black cat, a pentagram made of ashes, and the burnt body of a fox. For number three, I can only assume that maybe we're going to have to take the blood and some hair from Mr. Midnight. And speaking of Mr. Midnight, when I was editing the videos that I recorded previously, I kept saying Mr. Nightmare. And I was like, oh, dude, it's Mr. Midnight. Like, come on. Anyway, what, what happens if we examine this? Moonlight on the water. You are so beautiful and calm. So we're going to have to explore the house a little bit. See what's around. I noticed that you can turn this on, so I assume that this is going to be for when we actually fill the cauldron with actual... Well, when we get the ingredients together and get the cauldron and put the ingredients inside that. Oh, a dancing teddy. It what? But it does have a tie. That makes teddy happy. A lot of meat items on there. I wonder what's up with that. And this is where we started off at. And I didn't notice that there's actually some blood. Hmm, I won't lay down in that thing. I wonder if there would be anything in here. Um, my is part painted in black and white. Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder why it is. I reckon it's got something to do with uh, the stuff we need to do. <laughs> Mr. Midnight, those girls, they took my kitty. So can we just take like this? Spatula. It sounds like Dracula, but in a spa. Okay, so we took a knife. Ooh, a sharpie shiny knife. It can be good to have you to try my little hands. I don't have soup. I don't need a spoon. Well, a spoon is useful for more than just soup. It's useful for cereals as well. What about ice cream, friend? What about cake? What about all that kind of stuff? Honey bear, you taste fabulous. Flour makes me sneeze, but that's a funny feeling. Oh, King Leo's baking soda. This always makes makes the biggest cupcakes. Okay. I wonder what the point of baking powder is. Or baking soda, I mean. Baking powder to make soft dough bigger and better. So what do we need? Yeah, it doesn't say anything about baking soda. I'm not quite sure what it's going to be used for. But all of these things, they have a purpose, it seems. I close the window so the cold wind stays out. Are those, are those eyes? Ugh. It's fun to see what people have in their homes. Mm, a head from a human, I guess. It seems like there's nothing in this room, so we'll keep exploring. Is there anything in you, Mr. Vase? They don't smell. They must be plastic flowers then. Okay, so we've got another set of things we can look at. The bag smells funny. I won't touch it. I don't like beans that much. Salt. A very good ingredient. Interesting. It smells like a weed we had in our garden. Oh, what's this? What another little thing. It looks like a seed. Looks like multiple seeds. Do you see all those little tendrils coming out? I wonder who Mush is, because he owns all the mushrooms. Squirrels' d body parts? I don't want to know. Kitty likes to play with olives, I guess he thinks they are insects. If there is garlic, there are no vampires. Pepper, always good to dress up the soup. What soup are you talking about? We're trying to make the, the thingamajig. So, okay, it seems like that's the only stuff we can take from there. Alrighty, looks like we've got to keep exploring. So we do have we do have all this food on the table that Fran doesn't want to touch. Delicious and beautiful. Chocolate cake, my favorite. Should I? Maybe just a little. Mmm, delicious. And what about this file? Cozy and warm. Now I understand what the deer wanted back in the hospital. So, now that I think about it, this thing right here was talking about uh, the head of a young virgin. Maybe we can find the head of this body right here. Hello, Mr. Owl. Owls and cats are a bit alike. Why do you say that, Fran? Many tiny paintings and there's a cat. Burning candles. And what do you do? Oh, a record player. I wonder if it works. Well, let's test it out. 
Oh, wait a minute. Is that the big ant from the woods? It could be him, only a bit younger. Chance! I thought I saw this name earlier. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, never mind. It just repeats. How about we try putting that in the record player? Let's... Let's see. It seems to be working, yeah? Oh, there, it works. Maybe I should keep it down. There are many books and things on the shelf. So many that it makes me dizzy. I'll just leave it there. And anything on the typewriter? Oh, a typewriter and it works. I guess I could write, but there's no paper. And a good writer has to know what to write about first. And if I remember correctly, there's nothing up here. The stairs end up in a wall. All right, we gotta... Like, I think at the very least, we have to find something to store all of these things in. What can we do with salt and pepper and a seed and an exterminator and a knife? There's gotta be something. Hey, it's a broom. Oh, we've got a broom. Okay. Maybe they could be... What happens when we do this? Oh, those girls. They lock the attic. But how? Probably using the key that they had. Maybe there's something in this room. Hello, doll. Who caught you? Oh, these toys are so ugly. If they didn't hear me. I don't want them trying to catch me and kill me. I'll lay down and sleep tight when I get back home. This looks like a very old painting. A mummy holding two babies. I wonder. I wonder if those are the two sisters. And this is like their house. I wonder what happened to their mum. White candles everywhere. Oh, it's that monster and so much blood. Guess I'm not the only one who can see him then. Is he holding a hand? I have to be careful. And I just realized after all this time, we're not stuck. In this dimension, let's take a look into Pill Land. Oh. Oh, Fred. Oh, jeez. Okay. So, now we're in a well. You seem fresh. Are you still alive? Can we just climb up then? And what's that? A secret bottle with a secret inside. I can't get there from here. I need a bridge. What if we used a broom? Yeah, sick. Oh, well, rip the broom. It was good while it lasted. Huh, oh, bad piece of broom. Bad, bad. Okay, so as soon as we take the pills, we just immediately fall inside the well, right? Okay. And what about you, Mr. Skeleton? Hello, little baby. What are you doing here? Oh, I see you have a comfortable there, little baby. What are all these babies doing at the bottom of a well? Why is there a well as well? There isn't anything else we have, from what I can see, that could act as a bridge. She is quite unfortunate. So, we're gonna have to take a look around, probably. Hmm. Try and find something that can act as a bridge. The broom was a pretty good idea while it lasted. Why Why is there salt around there? A face to put some flowers in it. It has ashes inside. Well, maybe we can use this as a cauldron? <laughs> I don't know. It's the best idea I've got. Because we don't have anything else. So, I don't know. But first of all, we definitely need to find something that's going to act as a bridge. To get whatever secret that the secret thing is holding. Is there anything in here? Could we use that piece of wood? Ah, there we go. A long woody plank. I could do something with it. Alright, what happens if we go to pill land? Oh, hey. What's up? My sister is trying to catch me, but I ran away. I'm scared. Would you help me? I have a monster inside my head. Hmm, okay. Interesting. A rusty old bicycle in the middle of an island. Doubters need the truth? On paper. Doubters, I guess some people believe you when it's written down. Interesting, okay. So if we enter in Pearl Land right here, we should go into the well, right? Yeah, okay, cool. That's what I thought. I wonder if you were intentionally meant to try out the broom first, and then after you looked around, you could then pick up that wooden plank. Let's use this, like that. And now we should be able to get this. 
I can't lift it, it's too heavy for me. I really want that bottle. How about we cut the rope then? Yeah, okay, cool. Exactly what I thought. Actually, uh, you can just do it the fast way, like this. Instead of having to climb all the way down. Now we can get access to this bottle. Mr. Frog! Mr. F- Oh. Um. Okay. Ah, oh, that burns. Why? There's no fire. I can't touch the bottle, it really burns. Hmm. Is there something we could put on the bottle to stop it from burning? Could we use some of this? Not sure what to do with this. How do we... Because it's probably acid that's covering that bottle at the moment. How do we nullify acid? That's that's my question. Maybe baking soda? Can we use it there? Ah, oh, it won't work. Maybe it's bewitched for nobody to touch. Yeah. We need to try and find something that's gonna get rid of that acid. Unless we use the tweezers, maybe the tweezers could work? I, I don't know, I'm just throwing out random ideas at this point. Oh! There we go, genius! Oh, I got the paper, this is so exciting! What is the paper? Revealing the true soul. The world hides the truth from you. Work your soul through life and you will understand the purpose of this act. If you try to corrupt this essence, your soul will be hidden and never see the face of truth. To destroy an impure soul or give freedom to those who are trapped, you'll need blood from the executor of the ritual, five black candles, ashes to form a pentagram, a blue bloomed moonlight rose, salt and pepper, hair from the person you want to bewitch, draw a pentagram with the ashes inside the black and white square, put a lighted black candle on every point of the pentagram, fill a cauldron with water and put the other elements in it, boil. Or even the person you want to bewitch and repeat these words while you walk around in a pentagram. <laughs> and yeah, you got you got the words. This is this is interesting because if you remember, the frog was saying to not trust the girls, and I'm gonna assume that this is not what we're gonna want to do. So we're gonna instead follow what this guide is telling us to follow instead. So, we're gonna need our own blood, which means I'm assuming we're gonna have to cut ourselves with a knife. We're gonna have to somehow find five black candles specifically. S uh, we can get the ashes. Ashes isn't a big deal because we've got it in that vase. A blue bloomed moonlight rose. Not sure exactly where we're gonna find one of those. My first thought would be around here. Pink roses. Ow, I pricked my little finger. Bad roses. Can we cut some of these off? Sometimes things just don't work. Okay, what about you? No, okay. And I can't interact with those. Maybe the rose is located somewhere inside, or maybe one of you is the rose? No, they must- those are plastic flowers, so I'm going to assume that they're not going to count towards the actual ritual itself. And I don't think there's anything up here. There's no point checking the- no, there's no point checking pill land either because it all of this is just gonna lead into one big well. Which means it's gotta be there's gotta be the ingredients around here somewhere. Maybe the that's the flower? No, it's not the flower. Interesting, okay. Maybe we could try getting the ashes out of here. Uh okay, maybe maybe we go into this room. And we'll try putting the ashes on the ground. Try to join a pentagram? Yeah, okay. Well, this worked out great. Very nicely done, Fran. Next up, we do need those candles. But I don't know where the candles are. So this is going to be interesting. Trying to find them. There's nothing outside. So they gotta be, gotta be around here somewhere. I see regular candles. No black candles in specific, like in particular though. Unless we can somehow make the candles black. But I don't think that's it. Could they be in here? The drawer open, let me see what's inside. Oh, there are the black candles. To light up the darkness. We'll place those down now. 
And we should be able to light up the candles with the matches that we got earlier on as well. Let's place some of these down. There we go. What else do we need to do? So we need blood. Okay, so... Like, okay, so before I was saying that we could use the vase as a cauldron, but no, that's not going to work. I believe this thing over here is the actual cauldron. So we'll pick that up, then we're going to place it in the center here. What do you mean it can't be done? Do I have to place everything in the cauldron first and then put it down? So can I combine that with that? The water should be boiling for this to work. Okay, maybe I need to put water in it first. Maybe, maybe that's what it wants me to do. Should be pretty easy. There we go. Easy peasy. Fran, it's overflowing. Just take it already. Water, water in the pot. Ready to cook. Can we place it down now? Or do we need to combine everything first? Yep. All right. So we should be able to combine that. We'll combine that with that. The water should be boiling for this to work. Okay. So can we combine the matches with that? No, we can't. Can we place this on here? Oh, I forgot to turn on the fire. Um, I don't like to to light matches though. I, it feels like something could happen. Frambo, you gotta do this if you want to get out of here. Good. Now put it on there. And now we can add salt to it. But we're still missing the flower, and I'm not sure what this seed is. Oh, wait. It's a rare seed, and you know what? I reckon I reckon this is the flower. But how do we grow it? Is the question. Like, quickly enough. I wonder if I could give the seed to the ghost girl and have her grow it for me. Nope, won't do. Okay. Can I place the seed into the water? No, I don't think that's going to work. Oh wait, it will? Ah, oh, okay, it works! Easy peasy, there we go. Wow, this is a really nice blue rose. What else do we need? Now that we've got that... Oh, it... I was wondering what the green stuff was about, but it's just listing off what you have and what you don't have. Next, we do need the hair from the person we want to bewitch, though. I'm not not quite sure how we're going to get that because it's not like they're just hanging around at the moment. We need to get some blood from ourselves. Oh my god, that's a very disturbing image right now. And next we need to put it in there. And if I remember correctly, yep, okay, we do need to put our uh, rose in there as well. Goodbye, Blue Rose. In the pot now. I'm not sure what we need the baking soda for, though. Maybe that'll be used later on. And now we need hair from the person uh, we want to bewitch. Now, where would we locate something like that? Hmm. Wait, what? Why does that work? What are you doing, Frambo? Why are you typing on the on the recipe? Hair from your head. Okay, that I mean that works, but where are the sisters? Hey sisters! Can I talk to you? I need to show you this. Hello? Oh hey sisters! Fran! Here are the materials you all need. Have you studied the ritual? Yes, but I'll need more time. I can't remember all the words. Well, learn them fast. Let us know when you are ready. Now, oh boy. Hello, Mr. Frog or Toad or whatever you are. Girl, I think you need help getting rid of this bag. I can do that for you. But I may need it. No, you don't. Trust me. If we want to get out of here, this bag must disappear. I'll take it. You didn't see me. Goodbye. Okay. Fair enough. Goodbye, Mr. Toad. But I still need the hair from the girls. Where did they go? Maybe I can show them the recipe and be all like, Hey, 
I need something that you didn't give me. We are waiting for you, friend. Okay, how about I give you this? Look, ladies, there's something missing. I couldn't find your hair in the bag. Hair, you say? There's no hair needed. We know that. But look for yourself. It's written there in the recipe. That's true. How could we miss that? All right. There. Now get prepared. Sweet. That's the final ingredient. I'll let you know when I'm ready. So let's chuck it in and see what happens. Use. I'll use this with this. Now the hair. Good. Now let me see. What's there left to do? There's some missing ingredients. What are you talking about? What's missing? Do I need to light these up first? Yeah, I know it's a matchbox with many matches to light, so light up the candles. What? Light up the candle. What are you doing? There we go. Pretty fire. Candles lit. Oh. I should show the girls that the potion is ready. But that's going to be next time, because this is where I'm going to end this episode. Thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the episode, make sure to slap the like button and leave a comment down below. If you're enjoying the series so far and want to see what's going to happen with the potion and the sisters, make sure to subscribe to the Stay Up To Date with all my latest content, and as always, I will see you all in the next video.